Speranza goes to the air this time. His sideline pass to Bill Thompson is complete for a 13-yard pickup. Speranza keeps the Scarlet on the go with a slant pass to his end, Lee Curley, good for a first down. Fullback Steve Sims burrows through the Tigers and is stopped just short of a touchdown on the two. Sims plunges for points. Sam Moody makes a two-point conversion and Rutgers goes ahead eight to seven. Rutgers' stunning defense halts Bill Merlini in the third period as the Tigers claw for a score. The ball goes to Greg Riley this time. He finds daylight, but is racked up inches short of a touchdown. Riley tries to sweep left end. The Scarlet pass up the interference to nail Riley on the one. The goal line stand is successful. Rutgers is moving from its own 31. Speranza rolls out and hurls to Pierce Brownheim. Brownheim, hampered by an injured knee, ambles to the Tiger 35 and laterals at the last second for added yardage. That drive was stalled, but in the fourth period, Speranza pinpoints Lee Curley. Rutgers' top receiver takes off for the promised land. The Tigers make a pair of desperation dives at Curley, but he outlegs the defense to score. It's 14 to seven, Rutgers. Dave Brody weaves around left hand to score a two-point conversion. Rutgers downs Princeton 16 to 13 for its first victory of the season. Rutgers returns to its New Brunswick stamping grounds to meet the Huskies from the University of Connecticut. The Scarlet goes to work early. Fullback Steve Sims rips across the midfield stripe and picks up a first down on the Yukon 41. A handoff is to Romeo Dixon who roams the weak side for another first down on the 31. On a quarterback keeper, Bill Speranza moves the ball 20 yards around the left side. From the one, Speranza sneaks for the game's first score. Scarlett fails to convert, but leads six to nothing. In the second quarter, Moody drops back and pitches goalward. Lee Curley is on the receiving end of this 41-yard toss for another Rutgers touchdown. Rutgers leads 14 to nothing. Later in the period, UConn passer Don Klimas throws over the middle. Once again, Sam Moody is Johnny on the spot as he makes the interception for Rutgers. Long Sam makes tracks down the sideline and almost goes all the way. The Yukons ground him on the 14. Moody, alternating at quarterback, feeds Steve Sims, who powers for the score. Rutgers piles it on to lead 22 to nothing. After Rutgers recovers the second half kickoff, Bob Yaksik goes over tackle for 13 yards to the Yukon 10. Here's Bronheim. Goes in for the touchdown on a counter play. Rutgers ups the count to 28 to nothing. Connecticut scores twice, but Rutgers comes roaring back as Moody hangs onto the ball and sprints for a first down on the Yukon 21. Doug Reeser goes off tackle for the final touchdown. Rutgers wins 35 to 12 over Connecticut. The Scarlet journeys to Lewisburg, Pennsylvania to battle Middle Atlantic Conference foe Bucknell. In a driving rain, Sam Moody hides the ball and goes left. Moody aims for Bob Flower, who makes a terrific catch before being spilled on the Bison Six. From the one, Moody sneaks for the touchdown. Moody ran for the conversion to give Rutgers an eight to nothing lead. Rutgers with the ball in the second quarter. Moody weaves his way through the muck and sweeps the left side for 21 yards to the Bucknell 19 before he's tripped up. Bill Thompson, the 197-pound junior halfback, tries the other side and meets with success. Thompson trudges all the way down to the Bison four. Thompson is called on again and delivers the scoring punch. Rutgers holds the reins 14 to nothing. 
Bucknell's John Giordano, passing from midfield, has his toss intercepted by Bill Speranza. The Scarlet provides a wave of blockers, enabling Speranza to roll away on a 55-yard excursion to touchdown land. Rutgers goes on to defeat Bucknell 21-6 for its third victory. Mother Nature was up to her tricks again as the Scarlet Knights played host to Lehigh's engineers in rain-soaked Rutgers Stadium. First quarter action finds the Scarlet trailing 7-0 as Sam Moody goes back to pass. Bob Farr shakes loose near the sideline to take the toss for a 16-yard gain to his own 45. Moody takes the defense to his right, then fires a bullet to Lee Curley, who makes a sensational grab. Rutgers profits 25 yards, but Lehigh prevents any further advance. There's no stopping the Scarlet in the second quarter. Dave Brody, the five foot eight inch scat back, speeds around the left side for a first down deep in engineer territory. The Scarlet sends rampaging fullback Steve Sims straight down the alley. Sims scores on a 24 yarder. The conversion is no good and Lehigh still leads seven to six. Sims gets Rutgers rolling later as he blasts through the melting Lehigh line for 15 yards. Bill Thompson is given preference this time and he slants for another first down to put the Scarlet close. Sam Moody swings around end and goes in to score. Moody's ensuing two point conversion makes it 14 to 7 Rutgers at the half. In the third quarter, Moody puts on a one-man show. Behind a great block by Romeo Dixon, Moody streaks to a first down. Moody piling up yardage, keeps again and crashes to the Lehigh 13, a gain of 15 yards. American center Alex Kroll opens the door and Sam Moody crosses the goal line to give Rutgers a 20 to 7 lead. Lehigh is forced to punt in the final quarter. The boot is taken on the Scarlet 30 by Pierce Fraunheim. Pierce nicknamed Old Reliable by his mates is Rutgers top punt and kickoff returner. With good blocks by Bob Yaksik and Bob Harrison he rockets 70 yards for a touchdown. Rutgers ups the score to 26 to 7. After Lehigh makes it 26 to 15, Moody rolls out and angles for the sideline. Moody, who'll finish up with 105 yards rushing, steps off 36 of them right here. Moody completes the job by carrying for his third touchdown of the game to lead Rutgers to a 32 to 15 win over Lehigh. Coach John Bateman's undefeated 11 travels to Pennsylvania's campus, seeking its fifth straight victory. There's no score in the first quarter. Sam Moody keeps the pigskin and picks his way through the pens. But the Quakers halt any further penetration. After the first quarter standoff, Rutgers' Bill Thompson does yeoman work at moving that ball. Here he gains 13 yards. From a double wing tee, Thompson slices for 11 yards, putting Rutgers at the pen doorstep. Steve Sims gets the nod and bolts to the Quaker two. It's Thompson plunging for the only points of the game so far as Rutgers takes a six to nothing lead. Later, Penn tries to launch an offensive, but Joe Kowalski pilfers the pigskin for the Scarlet. Kowalski's timely interception helps protect Rutgers' six to nothing lead all the way to intermission. In the third quarter, Sam Moody, the runningest quarterback we've ever seen, picks up a first down. From the Quaker 18, Moody rolls left. He spots Dick Lawrence, who has his defenders beaten to accept the touchdown toss. 
Rutgers rolls up a 12 to nothing advantage. Bill Speranza is now quarterback in the fourth quarter and fires a strike to his end, Lee Curley. From the Quaker 20, Bill Thompson circles in and cuts back for 14 yards before the Ivy Leaguers nail him. Steve Sims barrels through a huge hole to score. Penn gets a touchdown, but the day belongs to Rutgers as they sweep to a 20 to 6 win. Lafayette was to be the next victim as the Scarlet Knights ran their lances through the Leopards. The first time Rutgers gets the ball, they march downfield. Here it's Bill Thompson toting the leather to the Lafayette 43. Coming up from his wing position, Pierce Fraunheim swerves into the line for a nine yard profit. All of the Scarlet backfield is being put into service. Steve Sims rushes for seven yards to the 10. Bill Thompson slams through the Lafayette forward wall and scores to cap a 63 yard drive. Rutgers six, Lafayette nothing. Later, Joe Kowalski blitzes the quarterback, causing him to fumble. Marv Engel pounces on the loose pigskin, and Rutgers threatens once more. It doesn't take Rutgers long to score. Sam Moody flips to Engel in the end zone. The conversion fails, but Rutgers owns a 12 to nothing first quarter lead. In the second period, the score is zoomed to 18 to six as Moody, with ample protection, fires to Pierce Fraunheim, who makes an alley-oop catch on the Leopard three. From there, Moody sneaks across the goal. The conversion boosts Rutgers' margin to 25 to six at halftime. In the third quarter, Bill Thompson finds running room up the middle and streaks to a first down on his own 43. Bill Speranza is guiding Rutgers fortunes on this play and he hits Pierce Fraunheim for an 18 yard penetration into the Leopards cage. Rutgers powerful running attack is being fueled mainly by Bill Thompson's efforts. Bill is brought down after moving the ball to the 10. Bill Speranza wedges into pay dirt and Rutgers lead mounts to 31 to 6. The Rutgers onslaught doesn't stop there. Sam Moody connects with Marv Engel to ignite another drive. Moody makes no hesitation about running with the ball. Long Sam gets good blocking that enables him to skip through the Leopards for 17 yards, but the Scarlet fails to sustain the drive. Lafayette takes over and immediately goes airborne. Rutgers gets the ball right back as Keith Crayer intercepts. Crayer returns 38 yards to the Lafayette 23 before being bowled over. In the fourth period, sub quarterback Bob Yaksik goes left and then whips a pass to Andy Carollo. The sophomore fullback fights for additional yardage. Rutgers has its reserves in there now, and they're doing a bang up job. Only a tremendous tackle keeps Bill Herring from scoring. The rugged Rutgers forward wall opens up a hole, and Herring scores. Rutgers humbles Lafayette 37 to 6. A lot of credit for the victory must go to Rutgers' fine defensive team that limited the Leopards to just 10 yards rushing. The Scarlet picked up 249 yards. The Middle Atlantic Conference Championship is at stake as undefeated Rutgers tangles with the fighting blue hens of Delaware. Rutgers spots Delaware two touchdowns in the second quarter. The hens kick off leading 13 to nothing. Pierce Fraunheim takes it on the bounce at the 15 and then heads for the sideline. Ronheim races 60 yards before the hens collar him. But Rutgers fails to capitalize on the long return. Rutgers gets holding later in the period. A hole opens, and Bill Thompson gallops through for a first down on his own 35. 
Scarlett gets close to midfield as Steve Sims powers to another first down. On a rollout right, Speranza keeps and gains yardage before lateraling to Thompson, who gains even more. Watch this play carefully. Speranza drops back and passes to Lee Curley on the 14. Curley has both defenders beaten and lopes in to score Scarlet points. Rutgers trails 13 to 7 at halftime. An onside kick to the right by Rutgers is fumbled by Delaware. Bill Kraft scoops it up and fights his way down the sideline for an apparent touchdown. But the officials call for the ball at the Delaware 34, where Rutgers will put it in play. Sam Moody, alternating with Speranza, moves the pigskin closer as he circles left end. A personal foul is levied against Delaware, placing the ball at the 10. From there, Steve Sims blasts to the one, but the drive ends when Speranza fumbles and Delaware recovers. With its back to the wall, Delaware punts out of trouble. Arnie Rosenthal's boot is taken by Fraunheim, who returns 12 yards to the Hens 29. Steve Sims, brother of New York Giant linebacker Bob Sims, barrels to the 13. Behind the great Rutgers line, Sam Moody sneaks over from one yard out. Rutgers misses a conversion to tie the hands of 13 apiece. The hens are on the attack with Ted Kemsky pitching. Alert Tom Kojay hijacks the pass for Rutgers. Kojay sweeps around the left side and gets back to the Delaware 37. Sam Moody, who was a doubtful starter, shows no ill effects from his pregame sickness as he rolls around the right side. The rangy 195 pounder looks mighty healthy to the hens on this 37 yard scoring strike. Rutgers leads 19 to 13 after three quarters. Rutgers is at its defensive best in the final stanza as it stops Delaware cold after the Hens had recovered a fumble. The Hens have one more shot at a score, but the Scarlet holds on with a magnificent goal line stand. Rutgers knows what to do with the pigskin. Steve Sims roars to a first down in his own 34. Bill Speranza pulls off a favorite play. Speranza keeps on a rollout, then pitches to Bill Thompson, who gains additional yardage. Thompson fumbles, but Tony Simonelli recovers for Rutgers. Steve Sims grinds out a first down to the 16. The Rutgers line opens up a gaping hole for Sims to slip through to the floor. Bill Speranza climaxes a 96-yard drive by circling right in the tally. Rutgers gains a 27-19 victory and its second straight Middle Atlantic crown. At this point in the season, Rutgers, Alabama, and Texas remain the only undefeated major teams in the country. Colgate is Rutgers' next opponent. The Red Raiders send up a pass in the first quarter, but Sam Moody latches on for the Scarlet. Sam has plenty of running room and speeds 52 yards for the first score of the game. Colgate retaliates to lead 7-6 to six at the half. Moody proves a demon on defense as he steals another Colgate pass in the third quarter. He returns this one, 27 yards to the three. Sims plunges to the one. Sam Moody puts Rutgers ahead 13 to six as he sneaks for the TD. In the fourth quarter, Colgate's Dan Keating passes. But Sam Moody enters third time, aided by a key block by John Paulson, 
Moody returns 38 yards for a touchdown. Moody's 117 yards on three interceptions is a new single-game intercollegiate record. Moody can kick two. This punt into a stiff wind goes 65 yards, almost stopping on the one, but it rolls into the end zone for a touchback. Later, Rutgers' great triple threat adds more fuel to the fire as he connects with Bill Kraft in the end zone. The Scarlet enjoy a 26-6 advantage. Colgate probes for points late in the game. Keith Crayer gets into the pass intercepting act as he snatches Dan Keating's toss to end the final Colgate threat. Rutgers wins 26-6. Rutgers undefeated in 11 games over two campaigns meets Columbia's Ivy League co-champions in the season's finale. Rutgers trails three to nothing in the second quarter. Jay Bonnell gets a good block and prances to a first down in his own 38. Sam Moody calls his own number and carries around the left side into lion country but the drive stalls. The Scarlet start to move the next time they get the ball. Big Bill Thompson rips off 20 yards to the Rutgers 40. Bill Speranza, guiding the Rutgers attack now, keeps the ball and grinds out 20 more yards into the lion den. Behind a good block by George Elias, all these standout Steve Sims slants off tackle and bolts 17 yards with Rutgers inside the five. Here's Fronheim puts the finishing touch to the long drive as he slashes over for the score. Rutgers leads seven to three at the half. In the third quarter, Sam Moody sweeps the end. Loses the ball at the 35. Speranza alternating with Moody whips a pass to Fraunheim. Pierce twists away from one defender and picks up 18 yards to the Columbia 46. Steve Sims grinds out a first down, but Rutgers fails to sustain the drive. Columbia comes back with two touchdowns to lead, 19 to 7. Columbia kicks off with two minutes, 54 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Dave Brody is the deep man. Brody finds a wide corridor open to him and rockets 58 yards before the Lions can catch up to him on the 27. On the first play of the fourth quarter, Speranza rolls out to the right and fires to lanky Lee Curley, who has it for the touchdown. Rutgers is close at 19 to 13. Columbia goes on the attack, but Tom Vassell's pass is speared by Fraunheim, who returns to the Columbia 29. Rutgers will wind up the year best in the country at intercepting passes hijacking 23 enemy aerials for 405 yards. Ronheim traverses the strong side for eight more yards. Rutgers is inside the 10. Speranza hands off to Bill Thompson. Thompson swings wide, cuts back, and gets two blocks by Tom Tappan to bring the ball to rest on the three. Speranza wedges across for the touchdown that pulls Rutgers even at 19 to 19. The conversion try was wide. Sam Moody rolls right and keeps on going for 15 yards to ignite another drive.
Steve Sims, pile drives for a first down on the Columbia 35. Moody sneaks for a couple of hard yards. Moody drops back and finds Dick Lawrence in the flat for a seven yard gain. The Scarlet get yardage with machine gun like consistency. Moody rolls for six before being shoved out of bounds. Bill Thompson hits the center for five yards. Moody sneaks for a couple of more. Sims is belted down after a two yard carry. Sims gets the call again and blasts in for the touchdown to give Rutgers the lead. Bill Herring splits the uprights with the conversion and Rutgers takes a 26 to 19 advantage with three minutes remaining. Rutgers pads its cushion as Fraunheim snares a pass near the Columbia goal and runs it in for a touchdown. Rutgers caps its first undefeated season in 93 years with a 32 to 19 victory over Columbia. One of the outstanding players in this ninth and final game of the season was linebacker Joe Kowalski who made 20 of his 81 tackles against Columbia.